Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hi, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope your classes are going fine. I hope you're able to complete the work online. I hope that you're able to contact your teachers when you need help. Make sure that you're reaching out to your teachers, not just me, of course, for this class, but all of your classes. Remember that you do have a tutor, Dr. Luis Humberto. He's your tutor for Prope, so feel free also to reach out to him if you guys need assistance. Today I want to get right into it because there's a lot of things I want to try to do today with you guys. But I want to start by giving you 30 minutes until 8.30 to complete the Flipgrid activity from yesterday. I know at least uh, Lisette was having some problems, um, and so I want to try to help Lisette and anyone else who has problems uploading video to Flipgrid. So I want to give everyone... 30 minutes from now until 8.30. If you have already uploaded your video, I've seen we had 20-something uh, of you have already uploaded the video. That's great. If you have already uploaded your video to Flipgrid, I would like, I would ask that you go and respond to one of your classmates. Listen to several right? Listen to uh, several of your classmates' videos. Very, very, uh, very good videos. I've, I've enjoyed listening and watching your stories, hearing your stories. But listen to some of your classmates and feel free to respond. Try to respond to someone who has not received a comment, right? So that hopefully all of us receive at least one comment, okay? So I don't want to Spend a lot of time talking here. I want to give you guys time this morning from 8 to 8.30 to complete the Flipgrid activity and also to help anyone who has issues with uploading. All right, so if you have problems, go ahead and stay here in class and I'll, I'll talk to you uh, right now. If you need to complete your Flipgrid assignment, go ahead and do that now. If you have to leave the class and come back, that's okay. That's fine. You can come back to the class. You don't have to stay in the class here between 8 and 8.30. But at 8.30 sharp, exactly at 8.30, we will uh, begin uh, the next activity for today. So please make sure to come back at 8.30, and we'll continue with uh, the next activity. All right? So go ahead and, um, go ahead and uh, continue with the the Flipgrid activity, and I'd like to begin with uh, Lisette. Hopefully, Lisette is online. I'm sharing my screen, so I can't see exactly who is with us this morning. So, Lisette, are you here? Or anyone else who has Teacher. questions or problems me. uploading Teacher. to Flipgrid? Me, me, me. Okay, go Tanya, ahead. Tanya, Tanya. Okay. Um, I want to tell you what happened yesterday. Okay. So I tried with my the computer that I told you. Right. And it didn't work. But right. in the night, like at 12, uh, I was trying with my sister's computer what she used to take uh, her classes because she's in the university too and it worked but um like it was tonight like too late i decided to to create it like today because it it already works teacher so i don't have problems like i don't have any problems right now but uh, I wanted to tell you if you can like give me the opportunity to record it at two because 
I didn't remember she takes classes to like me. That she's using the computer right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, no no problem, Tanya. That's fine. And if anybody has problems with technology, just make sure that you're talking to me and I'll work with you. There's no problem. Um, but Tanya, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead and upload it whenever you have uh, your sister's computer. And maybe uh, your sister will be kind enough to help you uh, this semester <laughs> yeah, <thank> you. <laughs> with, <laughs> with uploading your videos. That's fine. No. Yeah. And um, I, I don't want to miss with any assignment. I understand. So, I understand. Um, I'm missing for one. I don't know how to up upload the another one that I'm missing. Because I put in figure in make Google and only appears the the assignment that we're doing right now. All right. So which assignment are you missing? Or which assignment it's, would you like uh, to where, upload? Where we replay the video saying the similar things about their family and my family. All right. So I'm going to, can you see my screen right now? Yes. All right. So is it the roles and responsibilities? Yeah. All yeah. right. So if you want to write down this code, probably this code is what you need. Or, right, let me... or I, I'll tell you what, let me, I'm going to copy this link. It also mm -hmm. has the code here. See this? All right. So it actually has the code in the link. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to post it or paste it in the chat. Okay. And then you can yeah. uh, take it from the chat mm -hmm. and go ahead and upload here. Uh, it's a little slow. Okay, so try that, try that link, and uh, see if you can upload it when you get uh, when you have access to your sister's computer. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. See. Si. All right. Thank very you. good. You're welcome. Is Lisette here? I really want to try to help out Lisette because she's been sending me emails, and I know she's had some problems uh, with her audio. So, Lisette, are you here? Sure. Yes. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, always when I'm talk about like your classes with my family, I mention like you're from England because I thought you were, or you are from England. Where are you from? <laughs> ah, where am I from? I am from the United States, <laughs> and, and I. <laughs> Here, I'm actually from a very small town called DeSoto, Missouri. I think I talked about this one day where, in fact, I think this video that you guys are doing, I showed um, a uh -huh. map, right? And it's hard to tell here. If you zoom out, you get a better idea where I'm from. It's a very small town, DeSoto, Missouri. It's only 7,000 people. So it's really small. Very but what's the name from the place that you are? I'm sorry. Can uh, I'm from? Like, go ahead. Like, where where are you from? I know in United States, but what? I'm from. I'm very. I used to live very close to St. Louis, Missouri. All right. If you see the map on my screen, St. Louis is right here, very much in the middle oh. of the United States. So I'm like right in this little dot right here. This is where I'm from. St. Louis. St. Louis. Chicago. Exactly. Yeah, I'm about five hours from Chicago. And right here, oh. we're here, right? So I flew all, actually I drove. It's 36 hour drive, if anybody's interested. <laughs> 36 oh. hour drive from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way down to beautiful Aguas Calientes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm, it's because I'm an American. A lot of time, I told my family you're from England because mm. your accent. Ah, <laughs> yeah, my accent uh, is pretty standard central Midwest. They call it a Midwest accent, mm -hmm. obviously because I'm from the Midwest. 
But there are many different, and we'll talk about this. I, I found a really good video that we'll share later uh, in the semester that really shows all the different ways that people speak in the United mm -hmm. States, right? So I speak a certain way because I'm from the Midwest. People from the South speak a little bit differently than those who live in New York. and so Because I don't know if in that place people talk Spanish. Because, for example, when I was in California, uh, a lot of people talk Spanish. Yeah. So Well, it's interesting because I used to live in St. Louis, right? So St. Louis is a bigger city, and there is a population. There's a Hispanic population. And there were, at the time when I lived there, this is 20 years ago, because I've lived in Aguas Calientes, Mexico, for 20 years. When I lived in yeah. St. Yeah. So when I lived in St. Louis... I, yeah. there was a Hispanic population, but not huge. So it uh, just depended on who you kind of hung around with, uh, if you had opportunities. But I really didn't have a lot of opportunities to speak, even though I studied in college uh, Spanish. So when I, when I moved to Mexico, it took me a while, and it still takes me a while to, uh, Teacher, to communicate. But you moved because you want it or because well my wife my wife is from Aguas Calientes <gasps> and my boys you came over here yeah I, my, and Did we have two boys who were born here in Aguas Calientes <gasps> teacher but why like uh, they didn't born there like in United States well, we lived, uh, we did live in the United States. My wife and I lived in the United States for a couple of years, yeah. and uh, it was fine. But we decided that to have a family, we decided to uh, move to Mexico. So we thought it would, it would be nice to have our kids grow up in Mexico, which oh, it was. Oh, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so you have been living here like 20 years my, yes. Like, mm -hmm. Twenty years. Yeah, twenty years. Oh, 20 that's, years. that's amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my story. <laughs> so you should record it and post it on YouTube. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. So I'll I'll make sure everybody knows my story. <laughs> no, teacher, but it's really that's... interesting to hear you guys' story. The... Hmm? So your your wife talks like too good the English. You talked with her in English or in Spanish? Yes, yeah, we. It depends. Um, it it depends. But she speaks English very well, and so we were used to speaking probably more in English. But it just depends. Uh, just depends on if we're in a, a situation example, where everybody's speaking her. Spanish. I'll try to speak more Spanish usually, and and it just depends on the situation. But for example, in meeting some family with. With her, you talk with her family in Spanish. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, teacher. Yeah. I don't want to like see me myself like a uh, a person who asks a lot of things. But no, 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 no. It's that's, interesting. Yeah. No, that's fine. And and I as we go through the semester, the whole thing, the whole objective I want is that we all get to know each other. So I'll I'll try to share for anyone who's interested uh, my story as well but um, your stories are really interesting i'm really enjoying uh, what you guys are doing so far we'll talk more about it today in fact um, at 8 30 but but yeah that's yeah teacher. that's the situation <laughs> no <Nah. laughs> all right and uh, your your son no, your sons yeah mm -hmm. um how old how old are they? Uh, my oldest, his name is Benjamin, and mm -hmm. uh, he is your age. He's 18. He just started the university, and he's an engineering major. My youngest, uh... my youngest son, uh, Oliver, he is just getting. He just entered the Bachua, uh... the high school. So he goes to and school and at the high school. Your oldest sister, no, your oldest son is in the UA too. Yes, uh huh. He goes to he goes. Uh, he's well, he's online right now, but he's in engineering, so he'll go to the South Campus. <gasps> yeah. 
okay so, no teacher yeah <laughs> you're gonna be a proud fa- no father when of course he no gets i'm very graduated. very proud <laughs> very proud of him already so yeah definitely teacher but um i think that it was gonna be better like they born there and they like came over here now because in the future they're gonna have opportunities there and here like yeah in so because in here Mm-hmm. Yeah, because my wife is Mexican and I'm American, the boys yeah. have a dual citizenship, right? So they can decide ah. if they want to live in Mexico or they can decide if they want to move and live in the United States. So they'll have that option and later when they're ready uh, to decide what they want to do. Oh, so. I want to go to the United States, teacher, and yeah. work there. Yeah, and and there are there are a lot of opportunities really uh, to to work and study abroad in in the United States or in Canada or in other parts of the world, and uh, the university has a lot. They have an exchange program, so uh, I would really highly recommend everyone to really um, you know take advantage of the opportunities that the university has in the exchange programs and the government the mexican government has a lot of scholarships for for this type of thing so it's just a matter of getting to know the system and knowing you know which departments and the people to connect with so that you have you can take advantage of those opportunities yes okay. yep. because uh, for example um, i was born there but my mom is mexican too Ah, okay. So she decided to bring us when I was two years old, and all my life I've been here. I've been here, um, so when I turned fifteen years old, uh, my dad, that is living in the United States, decided to take me there, like for vacation. But when you get there, all the fathers tell you you're gonna study here one year. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and and when you really live in another country, um, it, you really learn very quickly uh, the the language. Yes. So anytime you guys have opportunities to travel, whether it's just for vacation or longer, if it's for studying or working, uh, tr- really try to take advantage of it because you you really are forced to uh, learn the language and the culture, right? And uh, it's it's always it's for me it's always been a really good experience uh, to do that. Yes, teacher. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm so happy for being in this class because I'm practicing in this class. Like it's so I don't know useful. Mm-hmm. Useful for me because you speak and you have you like put activities like we're practicing and listening. Well, that's, you're that's you guys. I want uh, everyone to. This is for everyone to really. I want you to, us to be in close in communication. Like, if there are some activities that that are di- that not necessarily difficult. I mean, I know some the activities are difficult and hard. I I understand that. But if I want you guys to f- have the confidence to really give me feedback and also your other teachers about what you like and what's difficult, um, you know, so that that we can try to adapt and create you know, a good learning environment online because it's it's difficult. It's hard for you guys. It's hard for us. It's it's something new. So mm-hmm. we will we'll we'll get through it, but we need to make sure that we're in close communication. So and a lot of you are doing that. You guys are sending me emails and messages and that's great. I want you to continue to have the confidence to send me information about troubles that you're having or or even things that you like, of course. That's always good to hear. So that I know what motivates you to uh, to do well, right? Yeah. Um, all right. I just want to make sure. I'm sorry to cut you off here. I just want to make sure that Lisette, if she's no, here, okay. yeah. Uh, and it was very nice talking to you, of course. Um, but I, <laughs> no, I, I want to make sure that uh, I give some time for anyone who needs help here uh, getting started. So. Yes, teacher. All right. So I'll see you in two and ten minutes. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, thank you, teacher. All right, thanks. See Bye. you too. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, Lisette, are you oh. here? Or anyone else who had problems uploading to Flipgrid? I just want to give some 
uh, support or assistance to anyone who had problems uh, uploading video to to Flipgrid. Uh, I just have a question. Uh, I just connected because uh, my computer didn't work, and I just want to ask if we have to comment the the someone's video. Yeah, if you've already completed, what I'm doing is I'm giving everyone until 8.30 uh, time to upload their video to Flipgrid. If you've already uploaded, uh, then feel free to respond to uh, to one of your classmates. You might listen to a few and then just okay. choose someone who has not received, preferably someone who's not received a comment, and you can reply Maybe ask him or her questions or just comment on anything that um, he mentioned or she mentioned in the video. Okay. And good. then we'll get started here in about nine minutes, about 830. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Yes. What are we going to do? It's that I just arrived to the class. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, who's uh, speaking? Majo? No, uh, Jacqueline. Oh, yes. Jacqueline, okay. Good morning, Jacqueline. Uh, today, we're, I'm giving everyone until 8.30 to complete the Flipgrid activity that we uh, started yesterday. So, uh, if you have already uploaded, then you can spend this time to maybe respond to one of your classmates um, but I want to give everyone 30 minutes this morning until 8.30 to complete that, uh, that task. Okay. And then we'll continue with class at 8.30, and we'll go on to the next activity. Okay? Yes. Can be the rest of the day? Yes, if you need more time... If you don't have a chance to finish in class, yes, you can finish uh, after class today. That's fine. Only the rest on the video? Uh, the, yeah, it's a video. You're going to create a minute and a half video to upload in uh, Flipgrid. And let me show you. Do you have the link? Do you have the link to, for the activity? Okay. Si, si tienes la liga para subir el video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what it's look. If you're looking at my screen, it's called Story Time from Home, and just like we've done in the past, just respond. Watch the video here to get instructions, and then upload your video here. Yo lo subí ayer. Ah, okay, and then you can spend this time, maybe choose one of your classmates, maybe to respond, add a comment to one of your classmates. That would be a, a nice thing to do. Okay, entonces solo respondo a alguien que yo quiero. Uh-huh, and preferably someone who has not received a, a comment so that we'll try to give leave comments to everyone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, friends, hopefully you're finishing up and returning back to class. We'll start here in just, just a moment. All right, uh, just a quick reminder, guys. Um, your grades, make sure you're checking your grades in Teacher Ease. All of you should have access to this page and I uploaded yesterday grades to those who completed the the podcast from last week. Now you may see that some of you have not received a grade for your podcast and before I send a grade, before I upload a grade to Teacher Ease, I'm going to ask that everyone create a link like this, where it says shared folder. Some of you have really long links, all right? So I'm going to ask that you change this, and you type the word either shared folder, 
Or in the case of, I think this is Fernando, is that right? Yes, Fernando uh, just changed the text, interesting science. That's even better, right? But write out a word or phrase, shared folders fine. You can use the name of your podcast, that's fine. But make sure that you have a shorter title here, okay? I just would like to have a very short phrase and then a hyperlink like what Fernando's done here, what like many of you've done with shared folder, okay? Like Fatima Romo, she did that here and so on, okay? So that's the first thing. Make sure that you go back, please, and change this in this folder, in this uh, column, and please do that right uh, today. Try to do that because I want to finish the grades for the, your first podcast, all right? Remember to do how to do that is simply type in the, the phrase shared folder and then select the cell, insert, link, and then copy and paste the URL. Now, here's the second thing I'm going to ask everyone to check. The second thing is make sure that the link takes you to the folder. Let me give you an example. This is an example of a link going to the folder, not the file. The folder, not the file. Okay, so some of you sent a link directly to the file, which is, is fine for this week, but next week you're going to have to go back and change the link. Every week you're going to have to change the link. So to make it easier, I think it would be best to send the link to the folder. All right, so all of you should have a folder called podcast, or you can even call it the name of the title of your podcast, all right? But a folder where all of the files are going to go, all of the episodes. Each file is an episode. So in this case, Adan is going to upload this week for Friday his second episode or his second file. All right, so he's just going to upload it to the same folder. He doesn't have to go back and change anything in in this file, in this Excel spreadsheet. He, he doesn't have to go back and do anything with this link. All right, it's, it's done. All right, so that's the whole point of sharing or linking to the folder, not the file. The folder is going to have all of the files or episodes for your podcast in one, one space. All right, now the last thing I'm going to ask everyone to do is I would like everyone to, in the title of the file, all of you have an option to rename. If you click on this ellipsis, you can change the name, right, of the file. All right, so change the name, try to change the name, and in the name of the file, I would like for you to include the week. You can just put WK week and then the number. All right, so this week we're in week three. All right, so you can include week three in the title, just so that when I go in, it's easy to know which one I'm checking for that particular week. All right, so try to indicate the week here that, that we're in, okay? This week we're in week three, All right? If we look at the calendar here, we're in week three of the semester. All right, so three things. Make sure that you check Make sure that you check your spreadsheet. Make sure that you have the phrase shared folder or maybe you have a phrase that rep that is the title of your episode and then the hyperlink. Number two, make sure that you're going to the folder, not the file. Make sure it's the folder. And number three, please start changing the names of each of your episodes to include the week that you completed the ep the uh, the episode in this case Adan can go here and type in change the name and put WK two 
because he completed it last week, week two. This week, he can include WK3, week three, for this week's episode. Okay? So please go ahead and do that, and I'll check later today to begin changing grades. I will change your grade, but I'm going to ask that you complete those steps first, that you include that. Uh, again, so you don't have to change it. You you change the link in the spreadsheet, and then you're fine. You don't have to go back and make any more changes. All right, so the podcasts that I've been uh, listening to so far have been really good, really, really good. A um, couple of shout-outs here to Monica. I think so far Monica has been the only one to publish publicly her podcast. Good for you, Monica. That's great. But really, some of you are using music in the background. That's great. Introductions, outros, right? Very, very good transitions. Make sure that you're, for next week, make sure that your intros and outros are no longer than 15 seconds. Come on, 15 segundos, nada más. The intro and the outro, really brief. Okay, the body of the, the episode is the most important. We want to get right to it uh, in our episodes. But really good job, guys, so far. I'm going to continue listening to those as you complete the steps that I've explained today. And uh, feel free, if you don't do have a chance to do it in class today, when later this, this afternoon, that's fine. Go back and please make those changes to... Uh, to the spreadsheet. Of course, everyone needs a good title. Everyone needs to have a list of, a, of at least one podcast. All right. So if you're still missing information, now's the time. Now's the time to complete this information. If things change and you say, no, you know what? I, I want to change my source podcast. You know, I want to change it to what I had before. That's okay. Just update the spreadsheet, include the link. And and that's fine. All right. Okay, podcasts. So the next thing I want to talk about today, I want to spend some time on pronunciation. This is a listening and speaking class. And I think pronunciation is, I think it's important. I know a lot of students like to really practice their pronunciation. And we practice a little bit. In class, but today I, I really want to spend some time focusing on pronunciation and specifically the v regular verbs in English. I want to focus specifically on regular verbs in English and the pronunciation of those regular verbs in English. Uh, when I was listening to some of the podcasts, some of the things that came up. All right. In fact, I'm going to open up my chat. All right. We're going to use the chat feature today. And I'm going to type in a word. And I want you to think about and then say out loud how you think you should pronounce this word. So I've entered the word. All right. How would you pronounce that word? Critique. Okay, again. Critique. Critique, right. Everybody, critique. 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 Everybody, critique. 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 How many syllables in the word critique? How many syllables? Three. Two. Two. Three. Is, where is the stress in the word critique is it strong weak or weak strong critique critique right it's weak strong critique it's not critique critique no it's critique everybody critique 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 all right, now, I saw, I heard this in one of the podcasts. And how would you say this? 
How should you women say this? Beautiful. I'm sorry? Women beautiful. Anybody else have any suggestions? Beautiful woman. Right. So be careful. Many times in English, right, the adjective, beautiful, is before the noun, yeah. women. So here's the pronunciation. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Everybody? Beautiful, beautiful women. women. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Women. Is that singular or plural? Plural. Singular. 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 Oh, yeah. Is women singular or plural? Singular. Plural. Mm. We have a difference of opinion. Very, very plural. interesting. <laughs> women. Singular or plural? Plural. 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 <laughs> Women. All right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this word in the sing in the singular and plural, and you tell me if I'm saying it in the singular or the plural. All right. Here we go. Women. Singular. Plural. 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 Okay. Here, say, I'm gonna say it again. Listen carefully. Women. Plural. plural. It's right. plural. It's plural. Yes. All right. I'm going to say it again now. Tell me, singular or plural? Woman. S singular. Oh, yeah. singular. Singular. Women. Plural. 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 So plural. one woman, two women. All right. So here we go. Everybody, one one, 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 one woman, 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 woman. That's it. One, one, one woman. One. Two, 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 two women. 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 Two women. Two women. All right, so notice here, I'm going to write the word in singular in the chat. Okay, this is one woman. Okay, one woman. Now, two, now notice on the pronunciation of women, even though it says W O M E N, the pronunciation here usually is women, 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 not women, or it's women. So one woman, two women. All right. So beautiful right. women, or she is a beautiful woman, singular. Woman, women. Um, very good. All right. Now, uh, let's try this. How do you pronounce this word in the chat? How do you pronounce this word? Study. 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 Not study. study, but uh, it's like uh, study. It's like the word study. but, cut, mutt, right? Study, study, study. Here's another word. How do you pronounce this word? Cut. Cut, Adventures. right? Cut, right? Avengers. 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 Very, very interesting, my friends. What do you think? Avengers. Avengers. All right, let, let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. How many <laughs> syllables in this word? Four. Three. 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 Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three. Four. Three. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you want to make Avengers. a bet? I think do you want to make a bet? If you clap, Avengers. There's three. Hmm. 
What do you think? So how do you pronounce this word? Advantage. 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 Okay, I heard I heard a few correct <laughs> pronunciations. All right, I'm gonna say it, and you check, and you tell me if you if you were pronounce if you were pronunciating this correctly. Advantages. Yes. Oh, no. Advantages. Oh. Advantages. Advantages. No. Everybody. Advantages. Repeat it. Advantages. Advantages. All right, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. I want to I'm going to I want you guys just to listen and I don't want you to repeat after me. I just I'm going to say the word 3 times, but I just want you to listen. All right? So don't say anything. When I when I do this the first time with other classes, somebody always repeats. All right? So don't say anything. I'm going to say it 3 times. I just want you to listen how I pronunciate this word. Okay. Ready? Advantages. Yeah. Advantages. It, oh, don't say anything. All right, I want everybody close. just to listen, just to listen. If you want to close your eyes, if you want to meditate, relax, and just soak up the sounds that are going to exit my voice. You ready? Here we go. Advantages. Advantages. Advantage. Oh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Here we go. I'm going to say it three times. If you want to close your eyes, just don't go to sleep. Just relax and listen. Here we go. Don't say anything. Here we go. Ready? Advantages. Advantages. No, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> How many people we have? I know this is hard in a big class, too. I know. I get it. We got 40 people. I understand. No problem. All right. So I'm going to say it again. Don't say anything. Relax. Just listen. I'm going to say the word three times. Ready? Advantages. 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 All right. Now, everybody, repeat, please. Advantages. 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 That's it. Advantages. 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 How many advantages. syllables in advantages? Four. Four syllables. Four. Advantages. Advantages. How many syllables? Four. 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 Four syllables in the word advantages. 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 That's it. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Um, all right. One more word here. Now, this, this is not to pronounce. I don't think anyone had problems pronounce, pronouncing this word. But I'm, I, my question here is what does it mean? When do you use it? So I'm going to. I'm going to type it into the chat. All right. So the word good night. All right. When, what does it mean? When do we use in English? When do we use the phrase good night? When it's in the night. night. All right. So it's usually at, it's nighttime. So maybe it's dark outside so perhaps. Uh, what else? When you're going to sleep. Uh, it's, because, it's when you're talking to someone and you are going to, uh, you, for example, you are, uh, I'm in the, someone's ha uh, house and uh, I'm going to, to go uh, because, because I have to go. And I say, ah, goodbye and goodbye. good night. That's right, Adan, that's right. The key, the key point that Adan makes is when you're leaving. All right, so if you are arriving to someone's house and it's a nighttime and you just arrive to the front door and they open up the door and you say, hey, good night, it's almost like, okay, I just arrived and now I'm leaving, right? So you, you don't greet someone, right, with good night. You can leave and say okay i'm leaving good night see you tomorrow 
right? So be careful with the, the use of the word good night. Good night is um, usually to refer to uh, one leaving someone else, right? Leaving a house, leaving someone. Um, when you say good night, you could say, I hope you're having a good night, right? I hope you're having a good night. That's simple. That's a present perfect or present uh, continuous. I hope you're having a good night, right? So that's okay. But if you're just using the term good night, remember that it's to, to leave or to say basically bye, goodbye uh, to someone else. All right. Um, so let's now go to an image that I uploaded in Microsoft Teams. If you're looking at my screen, you too can access this image. And I want to spend a few minutes here today talking about pronunciation and how to, pr uh, how to pronounce regular verbs in English. So we'll go to images here. And this is the file. If it helps to keep this file up or if you want to save this file, uh, this, per perhaps you've seen this before, but there are basically three ways that you can uh, pronounce regular verbs, right, in English. And remember to form verbs in the past, regular verbs in the past, we simply add ed. Okay, that's the easy part. But to pronounce these words sometimes can be tricky, can be hard. hard. All right, so here we have basically three different ways that we can pronounce regular verbs in English in the past. So here we have the first id, id, wanted. So want in the present, how many syllables in want? One. One. How many yeah. syllables in wanted? Two. 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 Wanted. So, wanted. wanted, right. How many syllables in need? <laughs> One. 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 And needed, How many syllables in needed? Two. 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 So id, always remember, adds a syllable. Id, the pronunciation id, will add a syllable to the word that you're, that you're saying. Okay? We have the second T. Helped. Looked. Sniffed. Laughed. Washed. All right, so this is the second way, the second type or category of regular verbs in the past. And then D, called, cleaned, offered, damaged. Okay, damaged. so basically three ways here. Sometimes it helps to think in these three, these three ways of pronouncing uh, of, uh, of verbs, irregular verbs in the past tense. So let's take a look at some examples. Let's practice. Why not? So I've got a list of verbs here. And I'm going to type these lists of verbs here in the chat. If you give me just one second. See how fast I can type. Admit. All right, so here I have a list of verbs. The base form, or in the present tense, if you want to think of it that way. I'll give you a second, read over these. Think about how you would pronounce each one of these words. All right, here's how I would pronounce each of these words. Accept, add, admire, admit, advise, afford, agree, alert, allow, amuse, analyze, announce, annoy, 
answer, apologize. All right, so everyone accept. 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 I'm going to type in a second word here below, below the list. All right, accept with an A is the same pronunciation as accept with an E. All right, exactly the same pronun uh, pronunciation. Accept, accept. All right, so accept with an A. Add. Pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Add, everyone? Add. Uh, All right, now what's the past tense of add? Added. 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 How, many, how many syllables in added? Two. 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 What's the past tense of accept? Accepted. 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 Admire. What's the past tense of admire? Admired. 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 Admired would be this, right? Admired. Admire. Admired. 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 Right. Admit. What's the past tense of admit? Admitted. Admitted. That's right. Admitted. 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 He admitted that he cheated. He admitted. Advise. What's the past tense of advise? Advise. Advise. Advised? Advised. All right. I'm going to ask you guys in the chat to up. When we say a word, I want you to type in the sound, the, the phonetic sound. It's either going to be, I'll, let me show you again the options here. All right. It's going to be one of these three options. Okay. So advise. Advised, past tense, advised. What is the pronunciation advised. symbol? Advised. Go ahead and type it in. Advice. Advice. Advised. 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 T. Mm-hmm. All right. The next word, afford. What's the past tense to afford? Afford the Afforded. Type in the symbol. Afforded. 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 Repeat it. Afforded. 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 How many syllables in afforded? How many syllables in afforded? Three. 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 Uh, three. How many syllables in afford? Present tense. Afford. Two. 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 Very good. Agree. What's the past tense? Today I agree. Yesterday I... Agreed it. I, what, anybody else? Yesterday I... I... Agreed. How many agreed. syllables in agree? Present tense. I agree. How many syllables? Two. Two. Agree. Two syllables. Past tense. How many syllables? Three. 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 Two. 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 Yeah. Two. Yeah. For those of you who say two syllables, how do you pronounce in the past tense agree? Agreed. 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 All right, so agreed, the agreed. sound is, I'm going to type it into the chat, is agreed, right? There's not an extra agreed. syllable. It's still two syllables in the past tense, agreed. Alert, past tense of alert. Alert. 
Past tense of alert. How do you pronounce alert. it? Alert. Alerted. What's the symbol? What's the sound? ED. Alert. Alerted. What's the sound for alerted? ED. ED. Right. ID. An example with T. With the sound T. The word watch. I watch TV every day. Yesterday I watched. 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 Right? So with the word watch, past tense, watched. It's like a T sound. Watched. 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 Let's try this word. This is the present tense. Announce. What's the past tense? Yesterday I... Announced? Announced. Yesterday I... Moise, how is it? How do you pronounce it? Announced. 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 The T sound. Yesterday I announced. They announced Announce. that they were getting married. Announced. It's like a T sound. Answer. Today I answer. I answer questions every day. Yesterday I answered. 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 What's the phonetic symbol? What's the sound? D. A D. Answered. D. That's correct. D. Answered. How many syllables in answered? Two. 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 Annoy. Annoy. They annoy me yesterday. They annoyed. Yesterday they annoyed. Everybody? Annoyed. Yesterday they annoyed. With annoyed. annoyed with a D. Right. Annoyed. Yesterday they annoyed. They annoyed people. This one wasn't on the list, but I'll type it in. Blink. Blink. What part of the body blinks? The eye. The eyes. Blink your eyes. La uh, yesterday, past tense. Yesterday, I... Blink. Yesterday, I... Blinked. Blinked. With a T. Sound right blinked. blinked 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 Blush what does blush mean do you blush easily? Sonrojarse? Mm hmm To feel embarrassed when you feel embarrassed sometimes you blush your face will turn red you blush Last yesterday, I blushed. Yesterday, I blushed. blushed. Everybody blushed. 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 Right. Teacher is with T. It's with a T. Blushed. Okay. With a T. Blushed. That's right. Blushed. When the word ends in H, the yeah, the final word is T. Well, the sound blushed. Um, I think I I I'm a, I don't know if I can say like always, but yeah, I think like it. Here's another word that ends with okay. an H. Attach. For example, washed. Right, washed, washed. watched, attach. Yesterday. 
I Yesterday I How do you pronounce attach in the past tense? Attached 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 With a T Attached Right. Attached. If it so, if it helps to think of words that end in H, I don't know if I can say every single word, but certainly most. Here's another word. Now, this is not the noun like your textbook, but this is to book a flight. Let's say you want to book a reservation at a hotel. You want to book a flight to the to Canada. All right? So today I book all the time. Yesterday I booked. Yesterday I booked. Booked. With the T, booked. Booked. With the T sound, booked. One more. <coughs> Close, close the door. Yesterday I closed, closed with D. Closed with a D. Closed. 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 All right. So a little bit of practice. Be careful with regular verbs in English. Three different types, three different ways to pronounce words in the past. Verbs, regular verbs in the past. All right, guys, very good. Um, now, what I'd like to do is I want to give you the rest of class here today to begin working together in the performance task for unit one. Every unit, we have four units this semester, and we're in week three, and this performance task is going to be due, let me open my calendar, today is September 8th, 2020. This task is going to be due next Friday, September 18th, 2020. Okay, so we have this week, and we have this and next week to complete this task. This is going to be a task where you work together in your teams. And let me go to Microsoft Teams. And let me go to Posts where yesterday I shared with everyone your teams, your teammates. Let me open up here. Yesterday, here's the message, here's the text. So if you have not looked at this list yet, please look at this list and see which team that you're on. We're gonna work in these teams this week and next. We're going to work in these teams for completing our performance task that's going to be due next week, September 18th. So find your team. See which team you're going to be on for this task. Has everybody found your team? Yay. We have 13 yep. different teams, all right? So we're going to continue using our groups, our channels in Microsoft Teams. All right, so this is where we can work. And I'm going to give you time in class this week and next week, not every day, but uh, I'm going to give you some time in class to complete these tasks. But if you want to meet with your team outside of class like in the afternoons, anytime basically, um, that you don't have other classes, you guys can use this space, these groups, as you wish. You, this is not just for when we meet 
face to, or when we meet online in the mornings. Okay, these are spaces that you can use anytime. All right. Uh, one of the first things I want to do in developing this per performance task. All right. So let me go into notice I'm in files, performance task, unit one performance task. I'm going to open up a an Excel spreadsheet. All of you have access to the same spreadsheet. All right, one of the first things we need to do as a team is begin filling out this spreadsheet. Okay, so you'll notice here we're going to have our teams along the top. All right, so I think I would, just to keep it fairly straightforward, uh, you can, you know, team one all the way to team 13 over here. So team 13 will be over here. All right. You guys can go in here and change if you want the title of this, but I'm going to ask everyone to create a name for your team and a slogan. Now, what are you going to uh, do for, for this task? All right. I want you to think about the situation, the COVID situation that we've all are learning to adapt to, right? Our topic for unit one has to do with family and it has to do with friends. So I want you to think about how you would prepare. What kind of video could you prepare to inform someone, an audience, a target audience, you can decide who you're going, who your target audience is going to be, but how you would prepare like a tutorial about how to adapt to, let's say, a new way of, of living. I think we can all agree that the last four or five months of COVID has really changed the way that, that we live, right? And so I want you to think about creating a video, a tutorial around a problem. Now, the problem needs to be specific. One of the things you need to decide on as a team is what problem are you addressing? Well, the problem obviously is the pandemic, right? Is not getting sick. This is the, the main problem. But I want you to be more specific about a very specific problem that let's say might relate to um, maybe it re relates to employment. Maybe it relates to learning online. Maybe that's a problem that you want to identify. Maybe you want to identify uh, maybe, you know, cooking, right? Maybe that trying to figure out new ways of providing and eating at, at home versus how you might have done it before. Right, so I want you to think about a specific problem, one problem as a team for your video, right, so that you don't talk about too many things, but talk about one specific problem that you are addressing, that you are offering a possible solution. Think of this as a problem solution tutorial of basically how to adapt. What have you learned in the last four or five months of COVID, what can you offer to someone to say, okay, how can you better prepare for this new way of life, this new situation, but around one specific problem? Again, the problem is not the pandemic. We all know, we all get it. That's a problem, right? It's a huge problem, but it also ha causes small others, many, many small problems that I want you to choose from. I want you to choose one very specific problem for that to be the basis of your, tutor your tutorial, your video, right? Again, I want you to think about your tutorial as or your video as a tutorial, like a how-to, how would you do it, all right? Choose an audience, think of a situation, 
think of a purpose. Why are you creating this? Right? Again, very specific to maybe or related to the problem. We have the process. Here you can talk about how you as a team, as one team, how are you going to work together? What, what's the process? What are you going to do first? What are you going to do second? What are you going to do third? Now the product, I want everyone to create a video and that's why I've included the words video here. But you might have other products that you include in the video. All right, so for now, I just want you to think about other possible products. We can talk about that later, okay? I want you to choose maybe one person from your team to be the spokesperson, maybe one person to be the leader, that is to help decide and work together as a team. All right, but I think the first thing I would like for you to do today, and I want to, I'll give you the rest of today to do this, is to go into Microsoft Teams, into your groups, and begin thinking about the problem, the topic. Maybe you can start thinking about the name for your team, maybe a slogan, but really think about a specific problem that you want to address. Remember, your, your job as a team is to come up with a possible solution. So identify the problem, the specific problem, and the specific solution or solutions to that problem. Right? Again, the problem is not the pandemic. We all understand that that's the big overall problem of all of this, but this is causing a lot of other problems. Okay, maybe going to school, employment, uh, just maybe, uh, you know, f getting uh, food maybe might be a, a problem. Just if it's different, the way that we uh, get, our, get our food, maybe there's whatever. There's a lot of different problems that maybe you face. And remember that this relates to family and friends. So you are addressing your, either your certain family and friends that you relate to, but that is that deals with a very specific problem of COVID. All right, and you can include family members, friends as uh, part of your problem and solution. All right, I'm not going to ask you for this assignment to interview anyone. Right, but you can mention, you don't have to include them in the video, their pictures, or the, you don't have to include other people, but you can mention these other people in, uh, in your lives as part of the video. But you can decide how you want to organize th the video. It should be between 15 to 20 minutes long. Each member should speak at least five minutes. Okay, so if you only have three members of your, in your team, then your video needs to be at least 15 minutes. Okay, if you have four members, right, it's going to be, or five, I'm sorry, three members will be 15 minutes, right. And if you have four members, it will be at least 20 minutes long, the, the total video. But it's very important that you guys work together, that you help each other that you speak and, and talk about what you're going to do in English. Right? This, this is about the process. So don't spend time speaking in Spanish about how you're going to work together. No, think and speak in English as much as you can and help each other, encourage each other to speak and communicate as much as possible in English. That's the whole point of this exercise. And of course, this is a speaking and uh, listening and speaking class. So much of this depends on how you help each other, right? Even when I'm not there, right? So I am going to ask that all of your meetings be recorded and that you keep the recordings. This is not just for me so that I can see how you're progressing and offer feedback. But also, more importantly, it leaves recordings for your classmates to go back to. 
especially those who need practice listening, right? For especially those who need additional practice listening and being used and more comfortable with uh, listening to others in English. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and break into our groups. We still have about 15 minutes or so, but just to, for you to start talking about uh, the topic that you want, and again, record your meetings, save them in your files for each group. I would create week three, a folder for week three, so to organize your recordings for this group for this week in that one uh, folder. All right, so let's go ahead and break into our groups. I'll be online here if anyone has questions about uh, today's task. Okay. I have a question. Uh, where could I, where could we find the themes? In Edison files or? Okay, so let me, are you asking about the file, the Excel spreadsheet? Uh, no, no, no. The, um, the one um, uh, that I don't know how to say it. Uh, the document where there is the theme. Oh. Yeah, the, the Excel spreadsheet. All right, if you're looking at my screen, I'll go to channels under general, and then I'll go to files and performance tasks. Unit one, performance task. And here's the Excel spreadsheet. So general, performance tasks, okay. unit one, performance task, and then this Excel spreadsheet should open up for you in Microsoft Teams. So if you guys want to go into your Teams, maybe one person share their document. You know, you work however you want to work. Uh, um, but make sure that you're recording your online meetings, your discussions. And remember, discussions, everything should be in English. Everything in English. All right, guys. It's 9.35. I think we should go ahead and uh, close the class. Uh, as a review, today we looked at some verbs, some regular verbs in English, really focusing on pronunciation, focusing on the three different ways to pronounce regular verbs in the past. Uh, of course, we started today's activity by finishing the Flipgrid activity. If anyone has issues uploading to Flipgrid, uh, please see me. I wanted to allow time this morning from 8 to 8.30 to help anyone who had problems uploading uh, to Flipgrid. Um, we finished by starting to discuss our performance task for Unit 1. And for next class, for tomorrow, or before tomorrow, I would like everyone to go to the tasks under uh, these options along the top in Microsoft Teams. All of you have access to... Uh, the tasks that we're doing each day. If you're looking to find what we did for the day, what we're working on currently in class, you can find that information under tasks or under calendar. And notice under current, these are the tasks that uh, we are currently doing. Usually within the week, we'll, they'll fall under this category, under the current category. So take a look at unit one performance task. And before next class, take a look at this information. Just take a, a read through. Most of this we talked about today, but I think it's a good idea to take a look at this before tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to begin at 8 o'clock with another listening activity, very similar to what we did on Monday. So if anyone had issues or problems with the listening with their computer, uh, please double check your equipment, check your connection, and if anyone wants to schedule time with me to check your equipment, 
we can do that. Today basically is it. So this afternoon, if someone wants to schedule a time to meet online to check, to test your equipment, or to look at what you have to see if we can uh, check and, and resolve your issues, then we need to do that. Okay, no one has contacted me, right? So if no one's contacted me, then I'm assuming everyone has checked their equipment and everything is working, right? So Wednesday, tomorrow, we're going to have our second listening activity. On Friday at 8 o'clock, we're going to have our third listening activity. All right, so I'm basically going to take the best grade of each of those three. All right, so double check your equipment. That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And then after the listening activity, tomorrow we'll spend time working in our groups, in our per performance task, and we can look at uh, this information here that's posted in Microsoft Team, again under Tasks. Remember that you may have to click this down arrow to get options to go to Calendar or Tasks. I think Tasks is the, the easiest way to look at the different activities that we're doing in class each day. You can also look to find tasks that we've done in the past. Okay, this is a calendar view. Okay. So it just depends on which view that you prefer. But task, I think, is a little bit easier just to see what we're doing currently. And each task has the due date listed off to the right. So let's look at that here. Sometimes it's a little slow, especially since I'm recording in the background. Here we have the due date. Okay, so this is what we did yesterday. This is what we're doing today the listening activities tomorrow, and so on. The unit uh, performance task, it's due next Friday, September 18th. Okay. And finally, use these groups, guys, however you wish. Feel free to come in and work in these groups outside of class if you, if you need to. If you guys want to schedule a time in the afternoons to come in to Microsoft Teams into your groups, then go right ahead. Make sure that you record all of your meetings. Make sure that you record all of your online meetings. And it doesn't matter if you're not talking constantly, right? It's just record your meetings and try to encourage each of you to speak as much as possible uh, in English. All right, any questions, guys, about the performance task at this point? I know we just got started, um, but are, are there any questions? Um, I have two questions. Okay. The first one is the topic. It doesn't have to be about coronavirus, right? It can be like about online classes or something like that. Right. So it, yeah, I, I don't think I don't want it to be specifically about coronavirus, but the whole con, the general context is that we're in the coronavirus, right? So your job is to kind of uh, think about a specific problem that maybe the coronavirus has caused so okay. that you can present a solution, a possible solution for that. So yes, it does involve the coronavirus, but you don't have to go into detail about coronavirus. I want you to go into detail about the very specific problem that is a result of the coronavirus. Does that make sense? Yes. And, and an easy example would be online classes, right? Yeah. So let's say that that's a problem and that that, that problem comes from the coronavirus, but you're going to spend more time uh, talking about online learning and what the problem is and what the solution is, right? And okay. you can mention the coronavirus as you need to, but it's not really the main focus. The focus is the, the problem that you chose. And there are many other options you can choose from. You don't, and it doesn't matter if more than one team chooses the same problem. Okay, that's okay. Everybody's okay. going to do their own thing and have their own perspective and solution. Okay. And my second question is, 
Um, the video call we're going to do uh, today, it can be in the afternoon because, uh, for example, in my team, we don't even start because we were organizing our ideas and stuff. So my question is if we can continue with this activity in the afternoon and if it has to be finished today. Okay, no. Okay, this is a, a kind of a big activity. So there's, uh, I'm not asking for anything to be quote unquote finished. Uh, what I want to see is progress, that you're working and making progress. But there are many aspects still that we need to talk about. And that's why I want to give us basically almost two weeks to complete this task. So right now, the main thing is to think about maybe uh, a team name, maybe a slogan. Maybe you start talking about who's going to be uh, maybe the, the person in charge or the leader of the group, maybe a person for the spokes, you know, that could be a spokesperson. But yeah, I'm not asking for anything that's due necessarily like an assignment. It's more like I want to give you guys time like tomorrow we're going to work again on it in class and I'm going to give you some more information about the performance task. And so we're going to work this way uh, for a while, at least a week, uh, just to get to get more information and, 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 and continue to help you with it. No one's ready to make a video, right? It, it, the, the video itself, probably the end of next week, you'll be ready to make the video. Right now, we need to prepare a lot of things and, and talk about a lot of things to, uh, to really make the best video that we can next, next week. So, um, if, so, yeah, don't think that we have to complete this whole thing uh, right away. We'll have some time to do it in class. But of course, if you guys, I'm sorry to answer your question, you can come in after class whenever you want. You don't need my permission. You can come in, just have evidence of what you guys do. If you're not speaking all the time, you're creating a file, you're uh, creating notes, just keep evidence, right, in text or in audio or in video form of what you guys are or how you're working. That's the main thing. So. Again, I can see your progress and I can help and make suggestions. And also each of you is very clear about what it is that you're doing. Okay, so also um, the last video, like when we finish the project, that video is the one that has to be 15 minutes? Right, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, 15 minutes if you have three members in your team, 20 minutes if you have four members uh, in your team. But that'll be next week when we produce, uh, when we create the video. Right now, we're just going to be working and uh, preparing and seeing who's going to do what and and practice really what we're what we're going to say and what we're going to do, what we're going to show, and so on. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions, guys? No, sure. Thank you. All right, guys. I think we'll stop there then. Um, and tomorrow, again, 8 o'clock sharp, we'll start with the listening activity. And uh, like I said, uh, then we'll, we'll spend some time tomorrow working uh, in our teams. All right, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to ask something. Um, it is sure. about the last task. Uh, like, do we have to give a solution uh, uh, in order to solve that? Uh, that this is or like to give an advice yes i would like for you to give advice or think of a solution to offer um not necessarily about the disease but the specific problem that maybe was caused by the disease right so if the problem mm -hmm. was uh employ or is employment or uh, you know, online learning or whatever problem that you see that your team sees as uh, as a result of the pandemic, 
then that's the the solution or the suggestions that you can offer in your video. But they're they're not going to be really related directly to the the uh, the COVID nineteen situation. It's going to be more specific to the problem that you chose. So maybe, for example, let's say that uh, I lost my job because of that, and, um, and that's that's what I don't understand. Uh, like we have this problem, for example, and um, someone can say, "Oh, maybe you can uh, you can." make uh, your own your own business and maybe it could be uh, it is not the same and you are not going to 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 earn the same the same money but maybe this is a solution you can you can you can use right yeah that's that's a good example and use your own experiences if you know you, I'm talking collectively, you and your team, uh, but use your experiences that you faced with your family and friends, right, as kind of examples of things to 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 focus on. What problems have your friends or your family have faced, right, as a result of the pandemic? What and so as a team, choose just one of those problems, and then dig deep into okay, what suggestions? What can we offer? for for either solutions or s s advice either based on what we've actually seen and witnessed or experienced or maybe it's just suggestions maybe we haven't really seen a solution but we offer we can offer a solution around that but your example of an employment certainly that's a good example that you could uh, consider but there are many others out there if you uh, talk to your teammates come together and decide on one problem that you agree on and then work together as a team to figure out a solution to that problem. Okay, now it's pretty clear, uh, so thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Can I use the topic about the benefits of uh, to ecosystem due to the pandemic? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that again, please? The topic is the benefits of ecosystem due to pandemic, something like that. Okay, and what would be the uh, the problem exactly, Amajo? What would be like the, 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 the specific problem? Um, where I don't know if is a problem but like benefits for the ecosystem all right so i, I want you to think about and and you, i want you to work together with your team right about coming up with a decision but uh, i really want you guys to think of a a problem a solution if you're going to think about benefits really think about okay well what what is the problem what would happen if you didn't have these benefits what problem could that cause so that in your presentation, you are very clear in what the problem is versus your solutions, right? And maybe these benefits, maybe there's a way to communicate those benefits as being a solution, right, to a particular problem. So keep thinking about it, all right, and keep talking to your, your teammates, because basically it's going to require that you come together as a team to come up with one problem that you as a team can focus on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you. You too. Anybody else have any questions? Me. Yes, Jackie. Um, can repeat the topic? The topic for the task, the performance task? Yes. All right. The, the idea here is to choose a specific problem that relates to COVID-19, right? Uh, in class, I talked about one of the uh, examples is online learning, right? It's really caused a problem in that many of us are not used to 
having classes online, and some of us are not used to learning online, and so we're not used to certain technologies and so on. So in your team, if you decide as a team that that's going to be your problem, then you need to think of some solutions or ways to address this problem. And so part of this video really is to offer a tutorial or a, an explanation about possible solutions to this problem of online learning as an example, right? But the first step is to discuss with your teammates different problems so that you can choose as a team one very specific problem that relates to the pandemic, that relates to COVID-19. You don't have to talk specifically about COVID-19. I would rather you speak very uh, specifically and deeply about a problem, though, that is a, re that is a result of COVID-19. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Any other questions, guys? Anyone else? All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the session. Those of you who are in, uh, if you want to go ahead and exit, I'll close the session, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, because I have the computer, and I have uh, using my cell phone, yeah, and that's no why. No worries. No worries. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.